a cold, frosty morning in the far northwest of Scotland. Today, I would explore for my first time what many consider to be the finest hill in the UK. Good morning, folks. I actually need to take a layer off. Been moving uphill quite steeply. It was super cold to start with, but obviously it's warmed up now that I'm moving. So we'll pop a layer off, and then uh, it's onwards and upwards. I'm going up to explore some of the eroding sandstone in this area. Um, some really cool rock formations up here. So I'm gonna go and see if we can't find some uh, nice intimate scenes and who knows what else we'll find. I think the, uh, the landscape and the views should open up quite nicely to the north. Uh, it's probably just about seven o'clock, so before sunrise and uh, really nice to be up in the hills at this time in the morning. So I was walking up, uh, I was keeping an eye on this lone tree out on the little island on the lock there. And so as I came up, it became more and more isolated in the middle of the lock. So um, I've set up here with a long lens where I'm zooming right in, I'm excluding any of the shoreline. So it's just uh, sort of this lone tree poking out into the middle of the lock. And yeah, I think it's quite nice. I think it's uh, sort of almost semi-abstract. There is, yeah, there's something quite minimal about it, obviously. Uh, and I think it'll make for quite a nice black and white image, sort of high contrast, minimal, sort of the silhouette of the tree against the silvery lock. Um, yeah, I think I quite like this one. I'm just going to pop on a uh, six stop ND filter and see what it looks like with a long exposure. Um, I really do want to minimize the amount of texture on the water, I think, to enhance this abstract feeling. This is so exciting. There's actually a couple of uh, rutting deer up on the hillside there. So I just went up and made some uh, video and pictures of them. Not my typical subject matter for this YouTube channel, but nevertheless, it was really exciting. So I just followed my instinct and uh, went and got a few clips of video.
deer right in the path, so we're going to have to see what happens here when I get a bit closer. <laughs> What a wonderful encounter that was. Um, I've just left the deer. I spent probably a good half an hour with them. Um, they were completely undisturbed by my presence, which is great because I was able to walk past them, leave at the end, and I didn't startle them at all, which is something uh, Morton Hilmer definitely told me uh, about doing wildlife photography. Try to not disturb nature as much as possible. I'm not quite sure how he does vlogging and wildlife photography at the same time. That would be extraordinarily difficult. Anyway, the uh, sun has now risen and it's quite a blue sky day, which is nice. Uh, I'm just going to enjoy my time out here. We'll see if there's any photography. The light is uh, getting a little bit harsh now, but who knows? Could be a, uh, a small scene somewhere in the shade. Just going to enjoy the rest of my day out here uh, in this wonderful area out in Ascent. The, uh, the views over Ascent are starting to open up quite nicely. Uh, spin you around a bit. I was uh, up there on Colmore a few episodes ago. I'll put a link to that down in the description. Sun is uh, just poking out behind the clouds but I think there might be some uh, weather coming in, so I'm gonna get a bit of a move on, get up to the summit, then at least I can start my descent before any of that weather 
comes through. <laughs> Don't fancy being on the top of a mountain uh, with a, a big rainstorm coming. Oh, what a morning, what a morning. The summit with its craggy sandstone formations really was incredible. And while I made a few images, it was somewhere I needed to slow down in order to explore more compositions, utilizing the mountain's incredible rocky pillars as foreground interest. Just having one last look over the spectacular views behind me. Met some lovely people up at the uh, summit at the Baylac, and uh, now starting to make my way down back to the van. Oh, check out this, check out this light behind me. The hike down offered one more image looking back across the mountains to the south. It had been a fine morning on the hill, and an area I can't wait to revisit in the future.